All right, in this video, we're going to review multiplying polynomials. And like the other algebra review video, I don't think it really is necessary for you to take notes. Although if you find it helpful, feel free to grab a pen and paper and write some things down. But again, I don't think that it's necessary. Let's go ahead and jump right in. In example one, they want us to multiply the binomial 2x minus 3 times the binomial x plus 4. And in order to do this multiplication, it's going to involve kind of a fancy form of the distributive property. Because we have to multiply the 2x in the first parentheses times each of the terms in the second parentheses. So we have to multiply the 2x times the x. And we also have to multiply the 2x times the 4. Likewise, we have to multiply that minus 3 times the x, and we have to multiply the minus 3 times the 4. So again, you have to think about distributing each of the terms in the first set of parentheses to the second set of parentheses. So when we multiply 2x times x, we get 2x squared, or 2x to the second. When we multiply the 2x times the minus 4, we end up with 8x. Multiplying the minus 3 times the x gives us minus 3x. And multiplying the minus 3 times the 4 gives us minus 12. And like in the last video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to combine any terms I have that are like terms, which in this case are going to be the middle two terms, which will lead me to my answer of 2x to the second plus 5x subtract 12. And again, I'm going to write all of my answers in standard form, meaning with my largest exponents at the beginning and terms with no exponents called constants at the end. All right, so there was just my fancy form of the distributive property. And number two, the question is asked a little bit differently, but the idea is the same. It's asking for the product. So you should know that the word product means to multiply. So I want to multiply the binomial 3x plus 1 times the trinomial, trinomial meaning having three terms, 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. The idea here is very similar to what we saw in the first example, except that there are now three terms to distribute to in the second set of parentheses. But I still need to multiply the 3x times every single one of those three terms. And this term at time I'm going to multiply a little bit quicker. 3x times 2x to the second gives me 6x to the third. 3x times minus 3x gives me minus 9x to the second. And 3x times positive 5 gives me positive 15x. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to distribute the 1 to each term in the second uh, parentheses. So positive 1 times positive 2x squared gives me positive 2x squared plus 1 times minus 3x gives me minus 3x, plus 1 times plus 5 gives me plus 5. And now I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms. There's only one term with an x to the third in it, and that's that 6x to the third. But there are a couple terms with the x squareds in it. The minus 9x squared and the plus 2x squared will combine to be minus 7x squared. There's a couple terms with x's in them. Plus 15x and minus 3x will combine to make positive or plus 12x's. And the only constant or the only term that doesn't have an x attached to it is that plus 5. Making my answer here, 6x to the third minus 7x to the second plus 12x is plus 5. Oh, that was fun. 
I kind of missed doing algebra this year. All right, this one is a little different. It says if A represents the polynomial 2x squared minus 1 and B represents the polynomial 2 minus x, then find the value of A minus 2B. Well, I'm simply going to substitute in. In place of the A, I'm going to put that 2x squared minus 1. And from that, I want to subtract 2 times the value of B, or 2 times 2 minus x. Well, this doesn't look that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to distribute that minus 2 in the second set of or to the second set of parentheses. So that gives me my 2x squared subtract 1. And it looks like this is going to become a minus 4. Minus 2 times plus 2 is minus 4. And minus 2 times minus x becomes a positive or a plus 2x. And again, now I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms. So I've got my 2x squared. My minus 1 and my minus 4 will combine to make minus 5 plus 2x. But I want to write all of my polynomials in standard form. So I'm going to spin things around a little bit. I want to write my biggest exponent first, so that 2x to the second comes first. I want to put my 2x second and then save those constants, those terms that don't have any x's attached to them for last. So we end up with 2x squared plus 2x subtract 5. All right, we've got one more here, folks. This says simplify the expression 2 times x minus 1 raised to the second power minus 5 times x plus 2. Now that x minus 1 raised to the second power can be a little tricky. I'm going to remind you what it means to square something. To square something means to multiply it times itself. So this really means to do 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 1. And then minus 5 times the x plus 2. Now if your gut is saying to you, distribute, distribute, you're exactly right because that's what I'm going to do in this case. I'm going to start by distributing the 2 to the first set of parentheses there. So 2x minus 2 times x minus 1. And I'm going to distribute in the second set of parentheses too minus 5x minus 10. And now I've got to worry about distributing that 2x to both of the terms in the second set of parentheses. So 2x squared minus 2x and distributing the minus 2 to both of the terms in the second set of parentheses. So minus 2x plus 2, and then minus my 5x minus my 10. So when I go ahead to combine my like terms now and finish this up, I have two of the x squareds. I've got a few x terms this time that'll combine. So minus 2 and minus 2 makes minus 4 with another minus 5 combines to make minus 9 of those x's. And the plus 2 and the minus 10 will combine to make minus 8. And again, I've got that in standard form with my largest exponents at the beginning and my constants that have no x's attached to them at the end. Man, I forgot how much fun algebra was. This is some good stuff here, folks. You're going to find this super helpful next year when you get to your Algebra 2 class. All right, so that's it as far as the notes or as far as the video is concerned. You do have a CASEL learning assignment on multiplying polynomials. Um, 
So that should be some nice practice for you. And I think that's the last castle learning for this week. Yeah, good deal. All right. Hope you're all safe, healthy, well, both in body and in spirit. Take care. Keep pushing on. We're almost to the finish line. Not much further now, folks. Hang in there.